So that one's going to be an actual expense. It's a period cost. And we're going to say that's selling expense and cash up here. Double clicking, going to the end, plus cash is going down. Now cash is negative because we have to, we have, we still have to uh, recognize a couple factors on the, on the accrual process. We'll get to that in a second. So don't worry. It'll be all right. Okay. And then we're going to scroll down and say that we have done the selling. Now we're on the general and admin. So general and admin. And we have the salaries here. And then we have the note. So let's take that one by run. We're going to say the general salaries. I, I just call them gen salaries just to help us balance this out. It's going to be the debit. It's another period cost of cash. And that's going to equal. And if we scroll over, it's going to equal. Da -da -da. Scrolling down to the general, it's going to equal that 33 there. And then we're going to credit something. So I'm going to credit the 33 to the cash. And so we've got the general salaries is going to equal that 33. And the cash is going to go down. So I'm going to double click on cash, go to the end of it. That's the credit. And that puts us back in balance here. And then we'll scroll back down, scrolling back down and highlight that so we've done this one actually what there's one more piece to that there's the interest so the interest in the cash so i'm going to say interest expense on the long-term debt interest expense here interest expense and that's going to be the fifteen thousand. and we're going to credit cash once again so cash and that's going to be interest expense is going to go up in the debit cash we're going to double click on it go to the end of it and once again it's negative but it's going to be okay we're going to fix that and cash is going to be credited all right now we can highlight that off for sure if we haven't done so so far and we're going to scroll down so that is in now, okay so now we're going to account for the cash that we received from the sales that we recorded on account so we had the cash but this is the total sales these are the cash sales and these are the sales on credit. We recorded that. What we didn't record is the collection of the revenues we made on sales during this time period. So this, this is the amount we'll, we'll need to record. So of the credit sales that we made up here, we have collected some of those. We sold them on credit, but it's been three months. So we've collected some of that in this time period. So we're going to debit cash and credit accounts receivable for the amount that we've received on the credit sales that we've made in this quarter. And I'm going to say that equals and scroll down to the cash. So we're scrolling down to cash down here. Not the budget. We could get it from the budget actually, but it's going to be these items here. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to sum them up because I don't have a total column on this one. 